Hi there, Serial Trader here. Let's just do a uh, checkup on weed heading into this week. And as of Friday's uh, price action, which was quite volatile for the day. So it played out uh, largely as expected. Uh, initially, we opened way down on Friday, even from uh, Thursday's close, which was already a big hit. And we opened down uh, at 5281 went as low as 52.80, so we essentially opened at the low of the day. And then, uh, obviously, throughout the day, uh, initially, or, or sorry, eventually closed up uh, very strongly near the highs of the day. Closed at 61.52, went as high as 62.06 at one point. So, uh, you know, over a $9 move uh, from the open to the intraday high. That's That's significant. And uh, I was able to get a little piece of that on the position that I'd, uh, the option position on CGC that I'd uh, put in on the Thursday. But unfortunately, there was a lot of uh, order entry issues and uh, the platform just wasn't working right. Uh, so I wasn't really able uh, to capitalize on that, uh, you know, stab down at the open. And uh, at that point, it kind of shook my confidence that... Uh, you know, I don't want to really be throwing any major capital at this uh, when I can't really rely on the order entry system. And it wasn't just uh, my platform that's having issues. It was widely reported various platforms having issues. So uh, that's unfortunate, but definitely uh, missed out on what could have been a, a more spectacular day had everything just been on point and been able to get in right the open and, uh, you know, go big. But it didn't work out, but certainly uh, no damage done and actually still made some money. So that's good. Uh, now at this point on weed, uh, before I change time frames or uh, whatever charts, we have a uh, daily piercing signal and that's where you have a big red day and then the next day you have this huge gap down but then a big green candlestick and then you recover uh, around 50% uh, you know, of, the, of the previous red candlestick and, and close around that 50% level. So that's a piercing so a bullish reversal piercing uh, daily candlestick. Uh, volume was picking up, relative volume picking up. So that's the highest volume we've seen in uh, several trading days there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six trading days. So significant volume, significant uh, reversal candlestick. But uh, before I go down lower, I just want to highlight. Uh, so often when I'd see a, a daily piercing candlestick, and a close near the high of the day on a Friday, I would normally be fairly comfortable uh, holding some sort of position over the weekend, expecting some bullish continuation on Monday. But uh, I was a little cautious because on this weekly chart, and I'm on the weekly chart now, we have actually a bearish engulfing candlestick. So uh, this most recent week uh, fully engulfed the prior week's real body. And uh, I certainly, I, I can't just ignore that and, uh, you know, rely on that bullish uh, piercing candlestick. So this is definitely a red flag on the weekly chart, although it's also diminished because now I'll go back to weed shortly here, but just sw switching over to CGC, yeah, CGC had the daily uh, piercing as well, but on CGC's weekly, it actually is not a bearish engulfing candlestick. It didn't close low enough to be one. So definitely a, a difference between the CGC and the weed weekly. Obviously uh, the CGC weekly is diminishing the, some of the uh, bearish implications that that weed, uh, you know, weekly bearish engulfing would give. Now going back to the weed daily, I think we're done, done here. Yeah, uh, I think we'll just go down to a smaller time frame now, and maybe look at the uh, bar chart. So as far as Elliott Wave labels go at this point, uh, probably safe to say we have uh, Wave C uh, in place as of Friday's low uh, of Y of that larger four and now uh, we may be heading up in the next impulse wave in this uh, minor minor wave five of intermediate wave three uh, as it's currently labeled so this channel largely held certainly on a closing basis we only poked through just initially and uh, it was extremely volatile Friday morning I mean these prices lasted it was literally seconds and minutes that made all the difference between you know multiple dollars uh, per share so that was that was pretty intense and unfortunately, unable to capitalize on it properly with the uh, 
platform issues. It's a shame because that could have been a huge day. Uh, now, anyways, we definitely appear to have a nice completed correction in place. Huge reversal off the bottom. Um, obviously, we got extremely oversold on this hourly chart uh, on the RSI. And then uh, had a nice reaction off of that, which was uh, expected in the, in the previous video. Now, as far as an entry goes, uh, if we go in closer, 15 minute time frame, uh, maybe with this kind of volatility, five minute time frame be appropriate. I would need to see, so we've had an initial move up, we've had an initial higher low, so maybe a one up, two down, and maybe we're in you know, the first uh, wave three in progress here. But uh, I need to see you know, high, we have a higher low, I need to see a higher high. And then at that point, uh, you know, I'd, I'd need to measure um, measure a few things here. So we'll draw our, uh, our channel as it uh, currently stands. So I, I definitely want to see some sort of five-wave structure off the bottom and then a three-wave pullback to, you know, think about going big on a long side trade. Right now, we currently only have, you know, an initial wave up, higher low, so initial wave down and now we're working uh, a subsequent wave up so still unclear at this point whether we have just an ABC up or work you know one two three four five up so I want to see that clarify and if we do get a five up the next opportunity for you know a big swing would be the three down and then position for the next five up uh, but at this point still not enough clarity on the short-term time frame um, but certainly overall, it does appear to be corrective and it certainly favors uh, a bullish continuation. Although uh, as far as an entry or a quality trade setup, uh, it's just not there yet for me. Um, and you can see we got close to the 1618 relationship between uh, as it's labeled W and Y. Uh, so I would have preferred it to just kind of hit that equality relationship and then reverse. It would have been a lot more high confidence to see that be the pivot but uh, it didn't play out that way. You don't always get what you want uh, as far as these setups go, but you don't have to trade everything either. And in this case, uh, that's kind of where we're at. We also hit the 50% uh, retracement level uh, quite closely. So that was 53.23, which happened to be that previous fourth wave one less degree right around the area, which was 53.13. And that was the uh, fib retracement from the bottom of minor wave two, okay? Uh, see if I can get it here, that little E thing's hiding it. So bottom of minor wave two to the extreme of minor wave three, doing that fib pull, that was our 50% retracement. So we hit that quite nicely and then reacted off of that. So that's certainly adding adding a little uh, confidence that it was just a wave four pullback and we can still expect a new wave to the upside. But just as an entry, I just wanna see a better setup before I really uh, try and establish a larger position. All right, so that should be good as far as uh, summarizing where we're at heading into the current week and I'm sure it'll be another exciting week uh, this certainly hasn't been a disappointing sector lately it's been just full of volatility and hopefully I'll be better able to capture uh, a piece of that next week hopefully no more uh, platform issues all right well we'll, uh, we'll update uh, this coming week as as price action uh, dictates serial trader signing off